John Stones. Mares still going. Chips in. De Bruyne. Header. 1-0 City. Manchester City within two minutes. One and a half minutes. Man City. Kevin De Bruyne again. Brilliant from Riyad Mares down the right hand side. The ball in. The diving header. And it's that man again for Man City. Who else? Oh, it can see it again. It's two. Oh my god, it's two. Gabriel Jesus. It's two for City. City are absolutely peppering them right now. Real Madrid are nowhere near up to the races. 2 0 City. Fair play, they've earned it as well. They've been all over them. Or oh, Diaz caught by Benzema. Vinicius tries to play back. Oh, it's a no goal. It's in the post. Oh, it's offside. Modric. Nice Mendy, Benzema at the back stick. Mendy, takes a ball, Benzema! Oh, he's done it again! Benzema puts a rail back in it! It's 2-1! You can't give the man anything! You can't give him an inch! You can't give him any space at all, he'll take it! How many times? How? How does he keep doing this? How? He is the best player in the world right now, in my opinion. There's nobody better. There's nobody more clutch. How has he finished that off the post as well? Absolutely incredible. Oh, what a ball over the top that is. Oh, that's brilliant from Gabriel Jesus. Beats his man. He's got Foden waiting in the wings. Jesus goes alone. It's the post. Oh, Foden is blocked. I said Foden is Foden. Foden and his shot's blocked. Open goal. What the hell? Who was that that made that block? That was incredible. Fernandinho's amazing run. Head of my phone and it's three. It's three for City. Phil Foden. He had the Real defence on toast in the first half. And now he's just solidified that. That's it. I mean, personally, I'm feeling that's it now. This City side is just too good. They're literally toying with Real Madrid in the second half. Here come Real Madrid though. No way. Vinicius. Still going. Woohoohoo. Woohoohoo. It's 3-2. What the hell? Vinicius Junior! What happened to City? There's your pillow, lads. Go to sleep. What the hell happened there? City just completely fell asleep. Real Madrid sent him a lullaby. They were tucked into bed. He just gets the ball down the left. It is a brilliant little drop of the shoulder to get past Fernandinho. And as soon as he done that, there was no one picking him up. Real Madrid are back in it. He nutmegs Fernandinho as well. Oh, yes! We have a game! Sinchenko. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot you into the free kick. Although Bernardo's still going! Oh, what a goal! What a finish! Bernardo Silva is 4 2 for Man City. <sighs> Every time City get pulled back by Real Madrid, they score another goal. That two goal deficit does not want to leave Man City. Does it come all the way? It doesn't. Wait, what is it? Is that a pen? Is that a penalty? Is that a penalty? I think that's a penalty. No way. It's 2022, people. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, I see lasers. I'm seeing lasers. I don't like that. I don't like it for any team. This could be massive. If they score this, it's 4-3 with 10 minutes to go. We'll look like City with comfortable in the tie. Benzema! <laughs> The sauce! The panenka! Oh! <laughs> to even attempt that, to even have the audacity to go for that at this stage of the game with that important a penalty on it. What a penalty that is. 4-3, what an amazing spectacle at the Etihad Stadium. Oh, City playing the ball in! No, how's that not five? Ruben Diaz with the miss, potentially of the game, potentially of the tie. Ball in from Mahrez, oh, another one! Another one, Diaz again. So there we go. There we have it. It ends 4-3 to Manchester City. They have a slim advantage going into the second leg, which will be in Madrid at the Bernabeu. And what a game it was. Two quality sides showing what they could do going forward. Karim Benzema getting on the score sheet yet again for Real Madrid. Twice, actually. He's been immense this season. For me, he's the best player in the world right now. And that's coming from a Red supporter who has Mohamed Salah at the top of his game. So, you know, there's no bitterness about it. There's no bias. Karim Benzema, for me, he's got to be considered probably the best player in the world 
goals right now in his current run of form. But Manchester City were absolutely electric. They started this game off, and within the first half an hour, they got 2-0 up, two goals. Within two minutes, they were a goal up from Kevin De Bruyne, the main man, the big man, the big Don, the big KDB. Yet again, with a diving header, brilliant stuff. But Manchester City, for me, they'll be disappointed that they don't have more than a one-goal gap to Real Madrid. They'll be disappointed for me. They could have had six goals, seven goals tonight. Diaz missed two chances in quick succession. That could have made it 5-3. That could have put the cat amongst the pigeons. Mares hits the post as well. Could have been 6-3. You know, there's a shot, I think, from Laporte that goes straight at Courtois as well from a brilliant cross. Could have been 6. It could have been 7 for City. They'll probably feel aggrieved that it isn't 6 or it isn't 7. For me, for large portions of that game, they were the much better side than Real Madrid. But Real Madrid just proved that when you have someone like Karim Benzema, someone like Vinicius as well. Vinicius' goal was absolutely immense. And Real, they just did a very good job of keeping themselves in there. When it seemed like Manchester City were going to take the game and run away with it, Real Madrid said, no, right, you, you, you get back here, you bastards. And they just pulled them back in with them. And yeah, the penalty might have been a bit suspect. They might have been a bit lucky to get that. And it's in the year of 2022 where sus penalties are given on the regular. It's just a consequence of that. But it was a really, really solid game of football. It was entertaining. It was enthralling, it was captivating, it was what you love to see, it was a Champions League semi-final, it was a European semi-final at his very best, and it had my intention from minute one to minute 90, so great stuff from both sides, great stuff from both teams, the Santiago Bernabeu is going to be the amphitheatre of a very, very closely contested, highly anticipated, adrenaline fueled fixture to decide who goes into the Champions League final, and my Dons, my mighty Reds, it'll be our turn tomorrow. But for tonight, the stage was set for Man City and Real Madrid. 4-3 on the night. What a game of footy.